friends, and welcome to Drawing Furry Friends of the Saints. In this episode, we will be drawing the blackbird who was friends with St. Kevin of Glendalough. St. Kevin was a monk who lived in a small hut near a monastery that he started in Ireland. He was very close with animals and plants, and it was even said that sometimes branches and leaves of trees sang him songs. One day, at the beginning of Great Lent, when St. Kevin was kneeling with his hands stretched out in prayer, a blackbird landed on his palms, built a nest, and laid eggs. Because St. Kevin loved the bird and didn't want to disturb the eggs, he stayed very still until the eggs hatched and the baby birds were able to leave the nest. During this time, the blackbird brought St. Kevin nuts and berries to eat. At the end of Lent, the last of the baby birds left the nest and he returned to the monastery to celebrate Pascha. Now, before we begin our drawing, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black or dark colored marker, and whatever else you would like to color and finish your drawing. If at any point in the video you need to catch up, don't be afraid to pause and then start again when you are ready. Let's begin drawing the nest that the blackbird built in St. Kevin's hand. Beginning on the left side of your paper, draw a big U shape for the bottom of the nest. Add a line slightly curving up across the top. Now, to make the opening of the nest, move a little ways in from the left side of the nest and draw a curved line across, stopping a little before you get to the other side. Now let's add the mama blackbird sitting on her eggs. Starting a little to the right of the middle of your nest, draw a diagonal line up to the right and then curve it around and down to meet the inside edge of the nest. This will be the bird's head. Going back to where you started that line, let's move a little up and then draw a straight line across and curve down. Stop before you reach the edge of the nest to leave room for her wing. Moving back to the line you drew for the head, leave a little space and then draw another straight line across. This time go past your other line and then curve it down to touch the edge of the nest. This will be the bird's wing. Next, let's add her tail feathers. Beginning where the line from the bird's back and wing meet, Let's draw a diagonal line out as long as you'd like her tail to be, and then let's add a bumpy line down for the end of the tail. Now draw a diagonal line back down to connect to the inside edge of the nest. Finally, let's add our details to the bird's head. Starting a little inside the right side of the head, let's draw a diagonal line up as long as you want the beak to be. Now, a little ways up on the head, let's add another line with a slight curve on the end for the top of the beak. Let's skip down just a bit to draw the bottom part of the beak and connect it with the head. You'll notice the bottom part of the beak is thinner than the top. To finish the beak, draw a diagonal line connecting the bottom to that center line of the beak, like this. For the top, make your line slightly curved and go past the center line a little. Last of all, we need to add a happy little eye. Draw a short line down and then a curved line across just like this to make the bird look like she's smiling. Now that we've finished drawing the bird, let's erase the lines we don't need. I've made these red to make it easier for you to see. Now before you start coloring, if you decide you'd like to trace over your lines with a black marker, you're welcome to do so, but it's not necessary. You can finish your drawing using whatever supplies you'd like to color in your bird. For the nest, I had a lot of fun making small scratchy lines to add in some texture. If you have time, I'd invite you to look for pictures of blackbirds and their eggs in books or online to find out more about the beauty that God has given them. And just like that, you've drawn the blackbird who was friends with St. Kevin of Glendalough. Thanks for drawing with me today. I hope you're inspired to continue drawing furry friends of the saints. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you always.